Hey, good morning, you guys. Welcome to episode 101 of the First and 10 NFL New York Jets podcast. How are you doing this morning, brother? I'm good. I'm good. We're waiting for our guest. Hopefully, he's going to pop on soon. Mm -hmm. Uh, 101. Wow. 101. 101. Yeah. Wow. What do, you you... Real, do you realize that 101 is more than Zach Wilson threw for yesterday? Is that what it is? Oh, wow. But you know what, Kev? I don't blame Zach. He is playing with second and third stringers. I think Zach looks fine. For the first time, I don't have an issue with Zach. I have an issue with coaching and and listen last week we ranted on how great our team looked but we prefaced it by playing saying it's preseason, pre-season. we have to do the same thing as bad sure. as they look, we'll say it's preseason but my problem is nine or whatever it was eight penalties for 80 yards four of them if i remember correctly and i wrote it in my notes were drive killers they ended drives and this has to get corrected. And this is coaching. You know? Mm-hmm. I agree. I worry with and that's the only thing I worry about. Like I these holding calls and you know, Punts had one, uh someone else had one. You know, these are drive killers and can happen. And it can, and Rogers will let this team know it can happen, you know? I agree. But yeah. I, but you know who impressed me? Makai, 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 Makai. Yes. Now I heard I heard some rumblings that people weren't happy with that he wasn't with the starting unit. And I get it. I get it. People don't send me hate mail. But I'm gonna say this because I've been saying this all year. And people know who listen to us. We are Makai guys. He's not in football shape. He'll get there. They got two more weeks. He'll be ready. He'll be ready. Ooh, we but got a guest t- coming on. What's that? I think we got a guest coming on. Yeah. Um, let's wait till he pops on. Maybe he's waiting for exactly eight. Oh, there he is. There he is. There we go. Sorry, guys. That was it was updating. I had to like do another uh un- just like make a fake account because I don't know. I haven't used Zoom in a while, and I guess like it was <laughs> whatever. We're here, right? So it's all good. We're here. That's all that yeah. matters. Yep. How's awesome. it going? How's it going? Good, good. I'm fi- I'm glad, you know, I could finally make it work with my, you know, schedule and everything. I've, this has been a long time coming, so huh. so it's uh I'm happy and to be here. Yeah. I thanks. like your set. I like the drums in the background there. Yeah, you know what? This is just like I got my interface set up here. This is just kind of like my little workstation, so it's it's kind of perfect. So Cool. Now, Very before cool. we ask you the question we ask all our guests, uh-huh. tell us tell us a little about yourself. What are you to let the people know out there? Your, your band, everything that you're doing. What's up with you? Cool. Yeah. Well, I Gates of the Morning is my you know my project. Um, I, I play in a lot of different bands. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I play in a lot of different bands, especially as a drummer. You know, do a lot of session work and stuff like that. Um, cover bands and just anybody who will. You know hire me or whatever so that's a lot of fun but i always needed to do my own stuff too you know mm-hmm. so i get some mornings it's like my own stuff that i write um I'm working on the third album right now so that's it's gonna nice. be nice it's gonna be a heavy one it's gonna be fun yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun heavy is so, good heavy is good yeah our last time you know because all everything that was going on in the world at the time <clears throat> we just we basically did like an unplugged version of our first album sort of you know, because it was just like I just had like two guys, you know, and we had like a modest setup. And so that that was cool, though. It was like, you know, doing an Alice in Chains unplugged sort of thing with our own tunes. And then, you know, but this is good. This is really what I was supposed to do is this album coming up, which is um, super heavy. It's going to be fun. Um, Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. So that's so moving, up, moving away from what you did in the first two albums, in a sense, we're getting a little different style. I, I think like if you listen to the first album and you listen to like more of the heavy the heavier tracks from uh-huh. that album, um, it's gonna sound more like the heavy like crestfallen and, and crossing the abyss and stuff like that. It's gonna be a little more like that. 
there's still yeah. going to be some, you know, progressive moments too and all that. And, um, but it's, it's more like the heavier stuff from the first album. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So the, the question we ask all our guests, especially our Jet fans who come on with us, how, how long have you been a Jet fan and why the Jets? <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> like he's a masochist. He likes punishment. <laughs> you know. Well, it's become that. Yeah. I basically, you know, the only team my, so my father picked the, the Jets for me and the Mets. Um, okay. And, and, hey, and the, same way. <laughs> right. Yeah. So um in the knicks too i don't really follow the nba anymore but so mm -hmm. so and then i picked the islanders because i figured i might as well be a total masochist and just yeah right right across the board okay, so sean not to interrupt you those are my four teams there you go that how I feel. <laughs> hey this at least I'm, was... I'm lucky enough to like the rangers so i mean you know yeah, well, I mean, you got 94, but other than that, that yeah, that's, that's not, damn that's much. Not, that's yeah, not, pretty, it's not easy pretty, either. It's, yeah. Well, it's, it's, it goes right there with the Jets. So. Yeah, it does. Exactly. Yeah, it does. Yeah, no, they're not easy to root for either. But I, I, my, my first Jet game, I can't even barely remember. I think I was four years old or something. I think they played the Bengals, actually. I think it was like 94 or something like that. And Boomer Esiason was on the Bengals, if I'm not mistaken. Um, wow. Yeah, and that was like I vaguely remember that game, and I remember you know walking to the stadium, and it was just so, when you're that young, it's so loud. And I, but I thought it was really cool, and you know I kind of got addicted to going to you know live games after you know that. Yeah, so, it's easy. Yeah, it, it's it easy. is. Yeah, I mean, and then, then the co-tight years, the the year we went one and fifteen, you know, I was I think I was what six or seven. But tickets were so cheap that I, every week, I, I think we went to almost every home game that year, oh. which they, did, they didn't win a single game. They won one game in Arizona. Um, yeah. But, you know, I was just like, I was a kid and I didn't really care. I was like, this is fun, you know? So we, so that's kind of like how it all started, you know? And it was just- uh, Very cool. Yeah. Were Very you cool. ever, as you got older, a teenager, were you ever, or did you ever think about changing teams? Were you always- loyal to your team did you ever have that moment of slipping no nah, because you can't you can't did you ever look at did you ever look at your dad and say why yes that that for sure i i that i said we still say that he still says it to me he's like why did i do this but uh no nah, you can't it's just no because i honestly something about it i love the team I, I don't know what it is you know it's like you guys get it you know but um oh absolutely yeah, I mean, there would be teams that I'd be like, okay, we're out of the playoffs again. Who who do, would I prefer to win? But that's that's as close as it gets, you know. It's, yeah. Um, yeah. No, there's there's no way out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm always curious why, like your story, and I'm sure Kevin's too. We align. I grew up Jet household. My aunt, my uncles, everyone watched it on Sunday, so you got sucked into watching it. And now I'm doing that to my son. And I think over like the last five or six years, he probably looks at me and says, "Why this team? Can't I root for anyone else? Why and are you I, doing this to I me?" I give him credit. I, I say, "Listen, you want for someone else? I can't blame you, but he stuck with it." So it's <laughs> hopefully. It's Child abuse. Now. It's child abuse, man. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> absolutely, 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 absolutely. At least you no gave him a choice, though, right? You gave him a choice. Yeah, I gave him a choice. He's like, well, that's what Kevin said he was going to, you know, call social services on me <laughs> for yep. making my son a Jet fan. Yeah, no, it's, it's, but you know what? It's, uh, when our day comes, it's going to be glorious. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, yeah. Like, it's all going to be like, you know, all the debts will be paid off and, yeah. yeah, it's gonna be you know, and, and it's and it's coming. I do, I do think it's coming too. So, in your in your mind, in your heart, Sean, what is a successful season for this team? Is it Super Bowl or bust? I mean, no, I don't, I don't think so. But we all want that, and I think we're, I think we're capable of it. You know, there's definitely question marks, but I would say within two, you know, you want the super. If we make a deep playoff run and look promising I'd, I'd like to make the maybe the championship game this year you know and and yeah i mean i'd love to win the super bowl this year but i, I think within the next two years but i think you know i think you got a like two or three year window with rogers yeah it's a, yeah i agree <clears throat> i agree so so i mean i definitely would love to see the super bowl this year but i'd like to see that you know this team looks like a serious contender and, and plays deep into the, the playoffs yeah yeah that's what we all want yeah they didn't, you know they sorry, didn't, I want they to didn't say, look that way last night. I, I know. I know. It's hard to put too much stock in a preseason, but yeah, you know, of course. There's, um, but you know what we need is a, a home playoff game. We haven't had a home playoff game. I, I've actually never been to one. I've been to a zillion Jet games in my life. 
never a, a home playoff game. I actually never been to a playoff game. So, um, you know, if I have to travel let to one this year, I might do it. But <laughs> let me tell you, there's there's nothing like it. I remember back in ninety, I guess it was ninety nine. Yeah, when the playoff game was against Jacksonville, Jacksonville the right. division. Uh-huh. I was there, man. There was nothing like nothing like that atmosphere. Right? Nothing like yeah, that. I know. Yeah, Keyshawn catching the first touchdown. I remember, mm-hmm. I remember that mm-hmm. game. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, yeah. There's, I mean, even going to you know hockey games, the Islanders games, going to the playoff games, it's so electric, and yeah. I just haven't gotten this experience that with the Jets yet. Yeah, yeah. It's coming. Kevin, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Kevin, you're more of the historian over me. The blowout with Kermit Edwards when we beat the Colts 41 nothing. That wasn't a home game for us? Was that on the road? That might have been a home game. No, that was here. That so was I here, I believe. Was, yeah, 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 yeah. My, my, my oldest was born, so it was at two, 2003. I can't even remember. I'm going to get killed for <laughs> you that. Think, you thinking about the Packer game? No, what well, we need the packing was the one we needed to yeah, win. Yeah, that pack. was regular season. Yeah, right. yes. But I'm talking about when we beat the Colts in the playoffs. That 41 nothing wasn't that a home game for us? I, I believe so. Yes, I, I thought was. it was. But anyway, it's still been a while. I mean, the yeah. wretch years we were on the road for those four, those six games. So yes, you know. Yeah. But Sean, did you watch the game last night? Did you get a chance to watch? I know you're busy. Did you get a chance to watch the game last night? I, I actually did because you know I was so exhausted that I was going to come home and practice and everything, and I was I came home from work and I was like, you know what? I had just about enough energy to watch a jet game. And that was screw nice. that. So Put was, my feet up and, yeah, yeah. and watch the game. It was nice. So yeah, I did. I did watch the game last night. Yeah. So give give us your take. What did you think? What uh, What were your yeah. thoughts? Yeah. Initial reactions. You know, it was good to see Makai Becton. Uh, and he, you know, yeah, when, I agree. When he's healthy, like you know, he's dumb. And then you know, we got this stable of running backs, and this good. I know he's. You know he's good in pass protection too, but but like on the in the run game, he just you know I think that's going to be awesome. He's just got to stay healthy, obviously. So he stood I, out. Yeah. Yep. I think Bam uh, played himself out of a job last night, but yeah. Uh, who is that? Um, uh, Zonovan Bam, Knight. Oh, Zonovan Knight. Yeah. Yeah. Bam Zonovan, Knight, yeah. Right. Right. I know. I know. He had that fumble, right? And then um, he fumbled the ball. I said, "That's it. You're out." Yeah, that's, yeah. that's tough. I know it's a brutal fumble league. the ball. I thought he also had a bad penalty on one. I have to look through my notes. So while you guys talk, because I write chicken scratch, right. I thought he also had a bad penalty. The saving grace, but with Bam Knight now is we don't know how bad. Uh, uh, I, I always botch up his name. Abin, uh, a ton uh, of yeah. wander is yeah. now. We heard thigh, but we don't know what the details. Did you guys hear anything before you guys came on about no. the extent? I heard no. die. That was it. I heard yeah, that's the last the thing we heard last night. I and Eagle reported mm-hmm. die. So mm-hmm. now we'll see in the next couple of days. Yeah. Um, here's what I'll say with Mekhi Becton. And I always say this because I think people think we don't like him. We do. We're fans of his. I didn't have a problem with him not starting like other Jet fans did because I don't feel he's in football shape. Yes, he lost all this weight, but there's a difference in just losing weight and being in football shape. I think he will be in this starting lineup in two weeks. He, Like you said, Sean, he's growing again. He's getting stronger. He's playing well. Um, so I'd keep, I, I'd keep him at right, right tackle. Keep him at I'd right keep, tackle. Yeah, yeah. I'd keep him at right tackle too at this yeah. point. And hopefully Dwayne Brown can can go to left tackle. I, I would mm-hmm. I would assume. You know, I, I, the whole offensive line is like a, a puzzle. I don't know how they're gonna deal with that. Um, yeah, my, my, of, go, go, ahead, ahead. go ahead. No, go ahead. Any, were any of you guys upset with the first string offensive line we saw last night? Were you mad that Tipman got moved over? Or are you glad that he got moved over to show the versatility? I, I think I think you need the versatility with this offense line. And we don't have – you know, it's kind of funny because Joe Douglas is like the offensive line guy, and I would say that's our, our one kind of glaring weakness or, or maybe unknown. I don't want to yeah, say did. weakness, but our unknown. So um, – I think we need the versatility because guys, you know, I don't know if they're going to stay healthy all year. Guys are going to have to move around, I think. Yeah. I mean, all I hear is Sala saying, I, ah, you know, in a perfect world, I'd have the set five and they'd be going through their reps and everything. Well, can we do something? Can we get close? Stop shit. In right. my opinion, stop shifting people around. Right. You're going to have to settle on something eventually. Yeah. 
I mean, what do we got? One more preseason game? Yeah, and yeah. that's so. The, and that's the it's, question now. This this upcoming game, do we see Beckton make the jump to the first string? Do they leave Tippin at left guard? Conovan McGovern, McGovern as our center and AVT and whatever else they're gonna throw out there. Is that gonna be our five? Good question. Do yeah, you put the do you put the starters out there? Period. Next week, right? Does Rogers okay. play? For me, no. Rogers doesn't have to see the field. No. He's not the guy I'm worried about. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind seeing maybe the start for one series. I think you know one mm -hmm. series would be nice. Um, yeah. With Rogers, well, that, I don't know. I don't even want to see him touch the field till September 11. <laughs> okay, so if I, we don't. So let me ask you guys a question then. What starters are you worried about that you want to see? We know what 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 Wilson is. We know what Sauce is going to be. Who's worrying you that you have to see get some time on that field next week? And in, in, for the starters, well, whoever we think those starters are, or who the starters well, are going to be. What yeah, what well, I'd like. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Ashton Davis had a. You know, he popped out last night too. Speaking of last. Sure night. did. Um, yeah. You, sure you did. Just just from the eye test. So I think that the the corner, I mean, um, rather the safeties and the linebackers, I'm a little like, I don't know about, you know, sometimes with the linebackers, we get exposed by um, tight ends and, and, and pass catching running backs and stuff. Yep. So that's a little bit of a curious to see just those two units, really. Okay. Yeah, there's always too much space over the middle. Always yeah, too yeah. much space over the middle. Seems like it's, it's been still... like that for years, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it has. It has. Yeah. <laughs> that's because it has. <laughs> And I know people are high on uh, – um, I got my notes here somewhere. Uh, uh, Sherwood as linebacker, and is it is right. it Bonds? Bonds is the other line. I know people are high on them. I still miss Quan, and I wish they would have figured out how to get him you back. And me both. I really do. Yeah. You I really do. Really but, do. But, you know, it is it is what it is, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think we, 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 well, who did we pick up? We picked up a, somebody with speed at the line because we had no speed and Mosley is solid, but never um, the fastest guy on the, on oh. the field necessarily. So, and I think that's well, why we, we get burnt. We picked up that kid Vigil, who's a linebacker. He's got a few uh, uh, pro seasons under his belt. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I think we're stacked at every position. I just don't know. If these are top dogs that we you know that we have backing up that our starters, with. But, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But right. we're gonna learn all that. We're gonna learn all that. Uh, like the kid Jason Brownlee, the wide receiver. He finally yeah, showed yeah. up last night, Kevin. He was one of my 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 uh, stars last night. He finally showed up. You know. Yep. And but like like little... and like you said, like you said, Ashton Davis had a good game. He did, and he kind of had to too, because he's a little bit on the. Yeah. I don't know if he was on the fence or not. You know, yeah, so, he's a bubble yeah. guy. A lot of Jeff fans and myself think he's a bubble guy. He's yeah. a bubble guy. Hey, you know, every time I see forty-seven line up, I know the QB's going down. <laughs> every time I see Bryce Huff line up, I said that, that, that yeah, there's a Huff, sack coming. Yeah, Huff, and he looked good last year too. If I'm if, yeah, right, yeah. I'm say, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. We'll see. You never know. So there's always, you know, it's, it's some pleasant surprises where you just, you know, all of a sudden these guys that, you know, pop up in the middle of the season become mm -hmm. a factor. Yeah, we need a I pass think, rush, too. I think we're going to be sitting here in nine days on August 29th when final cuts off, four o'clock, and be shocked on who didn't make this team and why they didn't make this team. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Now we had a lot of um, I, we got a lot of young talent, and we're not going to be able. It's some of it's going to you know we're not going to be able to keep them all in the practice squad either. Yeah. Some of these guys are going to get picked up. Sure, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, and then, I mean, in a way, it's a good problem to have, but it's also it who do you cut? Who do you yeah. cut? Right. You know, and then who does Belichick pick up that you <laughs> let go? <laughs> oh, you know it, you know it, right? <laughs> it's going to be at least one guy. Of course, of course. <laughs> if nothing else, to get info. Yeah, exactly. Just to get yeah. intel. Yeah, we're definitely going to lose guys because we could only hide fifteen on our practice squad, and even those guys could be picked up. So it's going to be hard to hide some of the running backs. It's going to be hard to hide some of the receivers. So receivers, some of the D's. Yeah. So it's going to be tough with that. 
Let, let's talk about last night's game. So, Kevin, you want you brought up before we got on Zach Wilson. What was your take last night? Other than his scramble up the the right side there, I don't know. I, same old Zach to me. To me, mm-hmm. okay. Sean, still looks still way? looks like a college QB to me. Okay. Yeah, I mean, thrown behind Lazard and that one, and you know, just throw, like, but he, routine stuff. It's the routine yeah. stuff, and like that I mean, scramble is great. But he's the, how many times is he going to replicate that in a game anyway? And you don't really right. want him to, you know. It's, I it's, mean, you're still throwing behind receivers. Come on, yeah. in, in yeah. preseason. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's a little, I, I, and I hate to say it because I hope Rogers stays healthy and all that, but you, you know, it's a little like I don't know if we really have a backup. You know, well, it's, it's like, what did I say to you? I said, if number eight goes down, we're in deep doo doo, man. Yeah, yeah, we really. I don't see Wilson. I mean, I hate to say, I hate to give up on on a guy so soon, but you're still missing base, even screen passes in the dirt last year. You know, like I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can dirt really, balls. Yeah. Dirt balls. Yep. I don't know. I'm rooting for him, but you know, we'll, I don't know. So oh, here's my take, and bear with me, Sean. If you watched any of our our, our, our other shows, Kevin's always been uh-huh. yelling and ranting about the dirt balls. Right, so, right, yep. Yeah. I've always had, and, and as Jeff fans, we all do. But I always like to say, I always have the rose-colored glasses. And for me, I see different from Kevin with Zach because what I saw in the last two weeks is progress. He had the ball behind Lazar, fine. I get it. Last year, that ball would have been either short or over his head. At least he got it there. That short screen open to the flat, if he let, let a little better, might have picked up more yards. If that was last year, it would have been at the guy's feet. I, I have to take these little steps with Zach and see the progress because he's going to be our future. And it sounds like the Jets, the brass as well, because they want him there. Because when you hear Aaron say on TV last night, I'm hoping to stay three, four yeah, years. I know. Pass it on to him and have two good quarterbacks for this franchise for 16, 17 years. They're high on this kid. So we have to hope these little baby steps that we're seeing become full, my, dogs, full runs gun, for him, you know? Gun mm-hmm. to my head. After Rodgers, our starting QB is not on the team right now. Oh. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Yeah. I mean, I hope, like I said, I'm rooting for him and, and I hope. I think, you know, we're stuck with him this year, at least just this year. And, and hopefully we see something. But, well, hopefully we don't have to see anything. Hopefully it's just Aaron Rodgers uh, through the whole way. But, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and we win and we go to the big game and we win it and we don't give a crap who's the quarterback. After yeah, exactly. Yeah, ex- <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You see, that's the thing. I want us to be good. For 10, 12, 15 years. I'm tired of these two-year stretches like we got with Rex and then 12 years of being a joke. I'm tired of that. Mm -hmm. I want to be every year in the mix. I want us to come on the TV shows, the podcast, the vlogs, whatever, and be like, got to go with the Jets. How can you not? Top five. Everyone, you know... I don't know if you guys watch a lot of ESPN and all that, yet everyone has this maybe winning the division, doing this, doing this, but they preface it by saying Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo. I want to be that team. The Jets, the Jets. The Yeah, you know, this team is coming good. They're good. They're strong. But you got to get over the Jets. You got. I want to be that team. I don't want to be that two-year window and gone. I'm tired of that. Mm-hmm. To me, Buffalo's overrated. Oh yeah, and they are they are they they always win the Super Bowl in July every year. Buffalo fans, they they love mm-hmm. to talk. Mm-hmm. And it's the same thing every, you know. But I mean they they've been they've been a great team the last few years, but I, I don't I think they're going to regress this year. Maybe that's wishful thinking, but I do. I think they're going to regress a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think they regressed last year. And, yeah, I, exactly. Yeah, and I see it happening even more. So, and I do think we have the we have the young talent to be good for a while, actually, even if Roger Rogers or not, you know, you need, you need a quarterback, obviously, mm-hmm. but we got a good unit here. I think the only thing in question really is like the offensive line. That's what we'll have to address next year, but okay. I think we got a shot to be good for a while. Hopefully we deserve it. So for both of you guys, is Salah the right guy to lead this uh, team to where we want to go. So for right. hey, the jury's still out on that, you know, so mm-hmm. far, so good. I mean, I don't know. You got all the pieces in place now. 
all right, from QB right down to your field goal kicker mm-hmm. and everything in between. If you if you can't win now, you're never going to win. Yeah. And I, you know, it's funny, actually, I was talking about this with my, I'm a little hard on Salah, but I, I think I, I like, you know, I think he's uh, good for morale and I think he's a good um, team bonding sort of, you know, guy and everything. I'm afraid I've seen him get, I, and I wish, I really wish I had more specific examples. So I'm not just talking shit, mm-hmm. but um, I feel like he's gotten out coached at half times before. Um, I mean, I think he, he has, the, the, he the has Detroit, the Detroit game last year and just some, I understand, you know, he had Zach Wilson as he didn't really have a quarterback and it's hard, but I don't see him being a master strategist, you know, um, but I could be wrong. I'd like to see him. I'd like to see him out coach the other guy after making the half. Be nice to see once, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 So I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical. I, you know, obviously I'm rooting for him like all hell, but uh. we'll see. We'll see. You know, we'll see. I, I want to see. I think he's good yeah. for morale and everything like that. So yeah, he's a rah rah yeah. guy. He, absolutely, yeah, right, yeah gets right. him fired up. Right. So, Sean, let me ask you because we've touched on this, Kevin and I. When we were going through the coaching process, was he your number one choice in your head when they were interviewing guys? Is he was the one you wanted? You know, what? I think, and that's the thing. I think he was. I'm trying to remember who was who was on them. It's been so you know we have so many coaches every I, it's two years personally. Like, I wanted Mike McCarthy personally. Really? Okay, I did not want Mike McCarthy. I didn't. Um, I did not want what? him. I, yeah, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, was, Sean. Go, go. No, that's okay. Yeah, I think Salah was like the number one guy in my on my list. Yeah, I, I believe so. I'm trying to remember who else was available at the time, but I, that's what I felt like. Yeah, I wanted us to bring in Brian Dable. That's okay. who I wanted. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, and I and I said to Kevin if he. And nothing against Salah because I wanted Salah. Yeah. Dable was my one and Salah was 1A. So whoever we got, I wasn't going to be upset with. What I didn't, what I wanted Salah to do that first year was at least bring an experienced head to help him oversee things as a rookie. Now, I know a lot of people saying it's probably true. The the passing of Greg Knapp really hurt this team a lot first year. Right. But. We talked about this, Kevin. And again, I'm going to mess up the name. When Rex came in as his first head coaching job, he brought in, um, I forgot his name, Gray Hair. We talked about it, Kevin. You even remember the guy's name to help him oversee things, to bounce things off of. Um, it was with the Colts. It was their offensive coordinator. I'll get the name. I'm sorry. I should have done my better homework on this, too. But I wanted Sal to just have an older head to bounce things off of like Rex did his first year as a head coach. Because mm-hmm. it's just so much to handle and so much is coming at you on game day that it's nice to say to someone, you think that's a good one. And then have somebody respond who's seen it mm-hmm. all, been in the league long mm-hmm. enough to say, no, do this, do that. That was Salah's downfall mm-hmm. for me in year one. You know, yeah, but- you ch- it's, it's, it's good to have an experienced guy. To yeah. bounce things off of, yeah, especially I agree. on the offense on the offensive side of the ball too, like where you know we brought in the floor and he was you know new, you know it's you know yeah to to balance out his you know it would have been nice to have an offensive old head in there you know to mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah things. yeah hey oh. even Parcells always went and got Dan Hennig right or so yeah. something mm-hmm. some kind of some kind of mind to bounce yeah. things off of yeah. Right. Yeah, and, and I think that's what Salah's downfall was because where I disagree with you, Kevin, like I said, now under under um, Nathaniel Hackett, I see the progress in Zach. You know, he's stepping up in the pocket. He doesn't look like quick feet like he was last year. Yes, you 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 both picked two pro, uh, throws last night that was shaky, but that would have been even worse last year. Those throws never even have got there, in my opinion. So I'm seeing the progress now with a new coaching staff. LaFleur was over his head. He may turn out to be a good offensive coordinator, and we'll say, oh, we had him. Why did we ever get rid of him like we always right. say but right. he'll turn into being a good oc just last year both of them were just over their heads at what to expect as a head coach and head coaches in nyc and and jay it's tough it's tough you know yeah what do you think what do you guys think of Boyle? (laughs) 
Honestly, I hate to come off like, who the hell am I? I don't. If he's our third stringer, then that's fine. We'll deal with it. I can't. Uh, technically, I, I wish Strebler was here over Boyle. You yeah, know, but yeah, yeah. that's Roger's guy. He's a Packer guy, but, you know, I'm not impressed with Boyle at all. You know who I, I wish was here over Boyle? It. Mike White. Mm. Mm. Yeah, how's yeah. Mike White looking with the Dolphins? Have you looked? Have you watched? I, no, I haven't seen. I haven't seen. I haven't seen. I, I do think you've seen the best of Mike White, though. I, I don't think you're gonna. You know, I think he had that Halloween game against the Bengals, and obviously uh -huh. that was his big thing. And after that, you know, he was he was competent. You know, so could he be an upgrade from Boyle and maybe even Wilson? Oh, that's what, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But... Yeah, just you just want confidence, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I haven't. Yeah, Boyle. I don't. I don't. I haven't seen much from him. So. And, you know, I don't know. And he had a couple chances to – did he have a chance on the in the Cleveland game too? Was that him at the end of the game to kind of go down and score a touchdown? I don't know if that was Strebler. I think, yeah. He played the final quarter. So that yes. was – but yeah. they didn't call what should have been a pass interference on, on one of the throws. Right. That, yeah, I don't want to yeah. nitpick it's a Hall of Fame. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but if right. they would have called that call, then who yeah, knows? We would have probably won that game. But, again, it's True. preseason. Uh what else but I, I mean, but I mean, I, I okay, I know it's preseason, but can you score more than than six field goals? Yeah, come on, yeah, man. I know, I know. I feel the same way, and I know it's um, come my on. Dad was, my dad was watching with me. He's like, "It's relax, it's preseason." But I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah but you know, come on." Yeah. <laughs> you want to score a touchdown, man? Yeah. Exactly, it's preseason. Score a touchdown. Yeah, score a touchdown. Yeah. We need to run out and get a new field goal kick. Another sort I mean, even if back. even if it's a guy who's going to work at Walmart next week, go <clears> score <throat> a touchdown. You know, we're we panicking. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, you, you know, know, I'm not worried about sure, Zerline. No, I'm not worried about Zerline. I think, no, I think, I, yeah, yeah, I think he'll be all right. And then, oh, no, I think he'll be okay too. No, of course. I meant it as a joke, Sean, because yeah. every time in, in New York, New Jersey, they're connected. We know uh -huh. every time the Jets do something or don't do something, the sky is falling. Of course. You know, the of post course. last week, same old Jets, and they preface the OL, you know. Uh -huh. Come on. Relax. Let's, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, they're sensationalists, and the media is ridiculous. Trying to sell papers. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. But it, it's just got so bad. And then Tiki comes out this week and throws some cockamamie story that he had an inside to trying to make our organization look bad because of the canceled practice. That supposedly the real story the is that Tampa Bay knew it was only going to be one. And then that was it. That was done. That was set up months ago. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, they, and they, they made it out like, oh, at the last minute, we canceled the, the second day or whatever. Yeah, I know. Maybe to be like because our old line was so bad and like we were oh we were in a panic we didn't want to do day two with them but from what I know that was set up to only be a one joint practice and not a two months ago they you said know? they set it up months ago there was like a yeah. foregone conclusion I don't know why and, I forget but yeah yeah and how the Giants came to the rescue and gave them a place to practice right. and oh, yeah. bullsh oh bullshit <laughs> I know. I know it's like anything to throw dirt on this team or this organization or the way things are run, you mm -hmm. know. I'll kiss my ass. See you in January. No, exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. So, Sean, any predictions? What What is the jet record for you this year? <sighs> we got a tough schedule, but um, I think you know. Now I go. Now we got seventeen games. I got to keep remembering that. Mm -hmm. I, I I think we get a. I think we get. 11 wins i do i i think i'm i'm pretty high on the team i i am i'm definitely nervous about certain aspects of it but i i think uh man we got some offensive talent we got some playmakers we and do stuff. And, we do and i think i think rogers got plenty. i've been saying for i've been a rogers fan for a while now and that's why when he came to the jets i was like holy shit this is awesome um i think he's got i've been saying for a while though he had to get out of green bay years ago um i think he's got plenty left i do I, and by plenty i mean I'm not talking about duration, like, you know, 10 years, but mm -hmm. right, right now, I think he's going to really, you know, show what he's got left in the tank. And so I'm, I'm thinking, I, listen, I, I'm, I'm predicting this is what I'll predict home playoff game. We're going to get a home playoff game this year. Uh, yeah. yeah. Got to win the division. Have to yeah. win the division. Yeah. 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 And I think to. it's very obtainable too. I, I don't, I'm not so high on Miami either. I don't think, uh, like Buffalo and Miami, I think they're both, 
Yeah. Buffalo's going to regress, and I think Miami's not going to – I don't know. They, I don't think they really have a quarterback. Yeah. I agree. I agree with you. He doesn't impress me. No. No. So I mean, I all think it is Tua, 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 Tua. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't buy the the hype on that. And yeah, I say let's let's win the division. And I, I think we're, I think we're gonna do it. I think this is our year. Uh-huh. Yeah. The only thing that worries me is quarterback. The starting quarterback goes down with, with it's all out the window. Yeah, it's scary. It's yeah. all out the, it's all out the window. Yeah, it, it, it is. Eighteen years, Roger. In the eighteen years Rogers is playing, played for Green Bay. How many years did he miss a season due to injury? I think one. Mm, good right? question. You have, you have one that he missed, I think. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm throwing it out there. Maybe yeah. some of the, the listeners will tell us. I don't remember him ever being injured, like really, uh, like out. Other than the thumb, I don't. Yeah. Right. Right. You know, he's, he's pretty durable. We just got to keep him upright, you know, in this offensive line and everything. So I think yeah, if we yeah. keep, he gets the ball out quick too. That's the thing. All right, who's your starting five going across? Ooh, for the offensive line? Mm-hmm. Jesus, I'm going to let the f- coaching staff figure that out. I, I'm confounded by the, the whole offensive line situation. You know, hopefully you get Beckton and, and, and Brown out there. And, um, yeah, and everything. Else, and, the eight, you know, um, Vera Tucker. Um, yep, yep. I, I, I don't know what they're I've you know I've been on forums too trying to read up on it and everybody's got a different take on it. Oh, yeah, he should be yeah. this guy should be here. No, he's got to be here. Yeah, here. yeah, I know, I know. And I'm like, whoa, I, I don't know. Let me ask you both: Why is Brown getting caught blanche that once he's ready, boom, throw he's him right out there? Is it Good the question. experience? Is that like you yeah, know it's, it's the experience? And also, I, yeah. I think we're not that deep, you know. I think you kind of you kind of have to just hope that you know he is that it, he'll bring the experience and he'll be solid and all that because we're not that deep at O line. Uh, Rogers I keeps did. tagging, uh, yeah, Fox, his O lineman yeah. there from Green Bay. Uh-huh. Does, does it does it excite you, worry you, you could care less when the Packers come out and say he's not on? Like they had the purpose by saying he's not on the trade block. To me, that's a sure sign that. You give us what we want, <laughs> you know. Like when they come out and they tell you a play is not, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, that doesn't mean anything. In fact, yeah. it might. It means yeah, maybe he'll be here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I feel like we got enough excess talent to that. Like we can maybe trade, trade again. You know, we can make a trade and, and not mm-hmm. like you know give up an arm and a leg or something really important. You know, because we have we have talent on the team. Yeah, and 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 that's their buddies over. Green Bay, Lafleur, and all them—they're they're all tight. You know, right, all of them, right, so right. that works. Out. That's how the Rogers thing got done. So right, right, <laughs> right. Were you guys both shocked that Mims was cut this week by Detroit? No. no you know what? No, but I read that he's actually have. I thought read because it was of injury and that he was actually that's having it. a good camp. They, that's what they said. I don't. I don't know. So I saw. I saw some about it was because of injury. Yes. Right. right. So. I'm I'm a conspiracy, and I think Detroit found a loophole because I heard Mims was having a real good camp right. with them. I also heard he had a chance to crack the starting wide receiver room. Now, maybe I read it wrong. He was in rehab for a calf or an ankle, and while in rehab, while in rehab, he hurt his hamstring? How? <laughs> How? So I think, and then there was rumors that Detroit said they could bring him back later in the year. I think he's fine. He maybe he is in rehab. They did whatever they had to, so they don't have to give up the pick. The and pick. we see yeah. him back on that team in week four, because then you don't have to. His salary's not guaranteed, which was very little anyway. And now you got your the Detroit got their draft pick back. Mm-hmm. That's just my take on the whole thing. Because how could a kid be doing well, then go into rehab and hurt himself in rehab? How do you hurt yourself in rehab? You go, exactly. That's why it's rehab. You're going to get rehabilitated. How did you hurt get another injury in rehab? Something's not right there, but you know. he's reha- rehabbing too hard. <laughs> but you know, a strange, he's a strange dude, Mims. I don't know. You never know. He's yeah, wasn't he? He's like, it seems like he's always hurt somewhere. 
he, and yeah. he never clicked with us. And I want he was the one guy I was really over because he was everything a wide receiver is length, yeah, tall, field, yeah, field, sure, mm-hmm. you know, but Plaxico Burrish, right, right, yeah, right. yeah. minus and the we... gun. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole thing with Eli- Elijah Moore too is, you know, I I just felt like we could have got a little more back from him, but I don't, I don't know. It should be interesting to see what what his deal is because I yeah. that was, that's so bizarre, man. That was bizarre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I don't know what's in these guys' heads sometimes. Uh, I, I I don't know. You're 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 twenty something years old. You get millions of dollars for playing a kid's game, and you betcha. I don't right. know. And we're winning. We were winning too. That's yeah. that was the thing. Right, that was right. The bizarre part, you know, like right. Yeah, we're used to it when we're four and twelve, and we're like, all right, this guy wants out, you know. But we were actually on a roll, and yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. So before I let you go, one more question. It's a funny one. Do you buy into the cloud that is over this team? This black cloud. The like, curse. About the curse that's over this team. Jet fans, my age and older. Name it, sold his soul to the devil, and this team will never win again until, you know, the curse is broken. Do you buy into that? Does your dad buy into that? He's been watching long enough, and I think I have been too, that, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, But I think think it's lifting. I I, I think it's lifting. I do. Um, And I don't think we need Joe Namath to die or anything like that for it to happen. Like, there's some theory that they're – Joe yeah, I, yes, I know. I, heard that one. <laughs> I don't think he'll need to die. I think actually I want to see I, I would love if Joe Namath could witness this. You know, that would mm. be awesome. You know, so I think it's lifting, though. I do believe in it. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Until uh, yeah. Rogers goes and blows his Achilles out. A la uh, Vinny. No, no. I, I, I'm, I know. I'm waiting. Uh, trust a la, me. That, that game. Testa Verde. Yeah, oh. I, yep. That game is in the back of my probably in every Jeff fan's head. Right. You want, you know. Just, you know, stay healthy and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I was sitting there with my brother, okay? We, it was the first game of the season against the Patriots, of course, right? Mm-hmm. Sitting there, this is our year, all right? Mm-hmm. We fell short in Denver last year. That, that we're going this year. Uh-huh. Yeah. All of a sudden, there's Testaverde pounding the turf. Oh, my God. I looked at my brother and said, that's that. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Unbelievable. Over before it started. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And because, and the reason I looked at him and said that is because we had no backup quarterback. Right. Yeah. <laughs> kind of right. like now. Kind of like now. <laughs> yeah. Kind of <laughs> like now. <laughs> yep. Well, we'll, we'll see. I think it's not easy being green. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, it all starts, what is it today? The 20th, it all starts in two and a half weeks, right? Am I right? 20 days, less than 20 days. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun. It's going to be fun. atmosphere. Monday night's going to be fun. It's going to be great. You know what? This is what, you know, because I go to a lot of the games, the tailgate's going to be great. I always say the Jets, whatever their record is, the tailgate is undefeated. The tailgate's always a good time, and that's what we we go for. (laughs) Everything else is bonus. And, hey, man, back in the day, when you could park up against the stadium, you could tailgate with the players. Really? Really? Yeah, I remember yeah, things were way different. Yeah. Things were way different. You used to be able to park up on the on the grass up there, too. People used to park their cars up there and whatnot. Yeah. A couple, we had a couple times with Ronnie Lott. We had, really? Yeah. A couple, one time after a game, Klecko, McNeil, Jim Sweeney came over. They were walking to their cars, and we said, hey, you guys want a beer? They came over, hung out, had a beer. So, yeah. That's incredible. That's yeah, awesome. it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Right. Mm. All right. Sean, we won't take up any more of your time. Thank you for popping on with us. Mm-hmm. Like we tell yeah, this all is fun, man. our this friends, fun. your family, whenever you want to pop on, let us know. Whenever you want to talk. Let us Absolute, know. Come on, absolutely. On with us. Let's let's do so, it again. This is there's a lot of fun. We'll have a lot to talk about this year. What yeah. was your season prediction again? Uh, I'm gonna say let's say eleven and uh, what eleven and six. Yep. Okay. And, well, you know what? No, 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 no. Twelve, twelve and five. Twelve, 12 and five. five. I like twelve it. and five. We win the division. Oh, okay. nice. Yeah, nice. But you know what? You know what we have to have Sean do in his spare time because Kevin and I always do a show and we pick who we think they're beating and who they're 
we think they're losing to. Do one of those on your own and just send it to me and I'll I'll see how it matches up to Kevin. Because Kevin, we both have them going 12 and 5 as well, don't we? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there you go. There you go. And I do that every year too. So I'll definitely send you, I'll send that okay. over to you guys. Yeah. I cool. We'll see if year. we're even on who we think they're gonna lose to and who we think they're gonna win to. Because I say it every year, and Kevin knows it, and as Jeff fans, we all know it. And it was great to hear. I don't know if you guys know, a Q-tip was at Jet Training. Yes, I saw he that, yes. And one of the things he said is what we've been saying for years as Jet fans. There's always a game on the schedule that there's a team that you think the Jets should lose to, and they win. And there's always a team on the schedule that mm-hmm. they should beat, but they don't. They so lay an egg, yeah. That shows who we think our team is. So when you do it, uh, Sean, let us know who you think they should lose to, but don't, and who they should uh-huh. win to, but they don't. Let's right. see if we all match up in our thing. I <laughs> uh, will, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep, there's cool. always hey. at least a couple of those. And good luck with all the music coming from your. Thank you guys. Yeah, from yeah. your fellow, your fellow. Uh... Well, absolutely. You know, when when we release this album and stuff, which is you know still a lot of work to be done, but we should maybe get a gig together or something. That would be awesome. Yeah, I go. mean, we're both both in the area, so hell yeah, we'll set that hell up yeah. for sure. That will definitely happen. Dingbats or something. We'll yeah, set it up. Yeah, perfect, yeah. perfect. It's right down the road. Yeah, perfect. Yep. All right. Excellent. Sounds good. Thanks for being on with us today. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. We'll do it again. Thanks soon. for coming on, brother. Thank you so Hell much. Oh yeah. Thank you guys. All right, Sean. Be good. Cheers. Cheers. Have a good one. Yep. You too. Cheers. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Good stuff, Kev. Cool. Good stuff. Yeah. 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 So next week when we thank you guys again. Appreciate it, man. Hey, anytime, you got it. Guys, you got it. Good. good to finally do Pop this. on. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. Anytime. Thank you. All right. Take care, guys. Yep. Have a good one. So next week, Kev, we got our final preseason game. We'll pop on Sunday. Yep. Talk Against, about it. Jets, Giants. Yes, the Snoopy Ball. Yeah, and then it all gets real from there, Kev. It all gets real Listen, from there. I mean, I, I was, I, I meant to mention before. I, I'm, I'm sick of preseason. I'm ready to get it. Get it yeah. on. Let's get it on. No, man. I know. I know. I know. I'm ready to, brother. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Next week, I'll see you for a hundred and a hundred and second episode. One one oh two. two. Yep. All right, my all brother. Right, you guys good. have you a good too. week. You all be good. Hey, and like, share, subscribe. Yes. yes. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Yep. Can't do it without you. All right. Yep. All right. See you guys next week. And until then, get up. Talk to you later.